What's going on guys? Matt here with TNM Product Reviews. Coming back at you with another review. We got some more O-lights to go over. Uh, we're going to go over three in this video alone. So the first light we're going to start off with is the O-light S1 R2 Baton. Uh, so this is one of their smaller magnetic rechargeable lights that they have. And let's get into the specs here, guys. So, overall weight for the light is going to be 1.8 ounces. And your size is going to be 2.48 ounces. Or, I'm sorry, 2.48 inches. And to compare that to some of the lights we've looked at before, here's the i5T. The nice new camo one. And here is the S2R2, or S1R2 baton. So just a little comparison there for you. Uh, Battery-wise, it's going to be running a customized 550 milliamp hour. It's a RCR123A. If I can get it out of the flashlight here, I'll show that to you. So just a little battery. It's, it's a CR123, but this one is a customized. So just to show it to you here. There we go. So... Battery wise, it is a 3.7 volt, 2 watt hour, and this one is for the S1R1 only. If the camera will actually focus on it here. Yeah, we'll we'll look at it later. It doesn't want to focus right now, that's alright. Um, so the light itself has a couple different modes. Uh, so the i5, the i3T, they all have two modes each. This one has a couple different modes. So it's activated by a little push button on the side here. And when it's on and out of its lowest setting, it has a little green light on it. So that's the battery indicator. So the battery indicator will be green from 60% or anything above 60%. It'll turn yellow till it hits about 10% and then it'll turn red from 10% or under. So if you press and hold the button, it actually has a moonlight mode. So this is a mode that's not normally in the selection. You have to do this from the off position. You press and hold the button down. And this is 0.5 lumens. Uh, that 0.5 lumens will actually run for five days on this charged battery. And then when the light is on, all you have to do is press and hold and that'll actually switch to the next mode. Next mode is going to be 12 lumens. It'll run for 20 hours. Press and hold again. We're going to get a little brighter to 60 lumens. That'll run for 3 hours and 40 minutes. One more time. Now we're at 600 lumens. That'll run for a one and a half. I'm sorry, one minute. Yeah, no, one and a half minutes. Uh, and then it'll step down to 300 lumens. That'll run for 45 minutes. So those are the normal modes. And then if you double tap the button. That activates a thousand lumens that'll run for one and a half minutes, step down to 300 lumens and run for another 37 minutes on a charged battery. Now the, this does have a strobe mode as well. If you triple tap the button, as you can see there in the background, um, it does activate a strobe mode. So light intensity is going to be 5,250 candela. Beam distance is 145 meters or 476 feet. And like I said, it does have that magnetic charger. So let me show that to you here once. Oh, actually hung it on the camera. So for these, for these lights that we're going to look at today, they all come with this charger. This is, this one specific is the MCC one amp. And so you plug it into any USB brick or charger and then it just snaps to the top of the light. So simple as that. And then when it's charging, which I'll show you in here on the tabletop, there's a little red light that'll come on when it's charging and then green whenever it's charged. So that's the, the charger for the S1R2. Um, this light is available in a ton of different colors. We're looking at the black one now, obviously, and it comes with a blue clip. This one doesn't come with the black, I don't think. Um, at least I didn't get one with mine. 
You can get it in black though, and red are the two popular ones that you can find on Amazon. Uh, blue, purple, copper, orange, desert tan, and then they had like the Seasons or the Friendship series, which is titanium. Uh, the titanium ones were gold, uh, it looked like another copper, burnt titanium, and then just plain gray titanium, and then they had a patriotic series as well. Um, so you had like the, the stripes on the body, and then stars up on the top, red, white, and blue. They were kind of cool. So price-wise for the S1R1 here, or S1R2, your normal price range is going to be $64.95 to about $70. Uh, that's your typical price. You'll see it on the Olight website as well as Amazon. Every now and then you find it on sale. Uh, for $69.45, I did find it with two separate batter or with two batteries. So you get the battery that comes with it, a spare, and a battery case for $69.45. So that's a good deal. I think that's actually how this one came. Um, all right, guys. Let's get to the, the the light show, the light test. I'll show you what this thing looks like at night, and we'll come back with the next light. All right, guys, we're outside here for the light demonstration. So we're going to start with the S1R2. Um, as you can see, there's some lights down the way here. We're just in an alley around the house. So you won't be able to see moonlight on the camera because of how dark it is and how light the moonlight is being that 0.5 lumens. So we're going to start with the first step, which is 12 lumens. And as you can see here, you can kind of see the houses if I move it around. Like I said, this is going to run for 3 hours and 40 minutes. I'm sorry, 20 hours. The next step, 60 lumens, which that kind of starts lighting it up here. That's going to run for 3 hours and 40 minutes. Step up again to 600 lumens. Now you can definitely start seeing here this is one and a half minutes and then a step down to 300 lumens for 45 and you double tap that's that thousand lumens you can see it really lights everything up here and that's going to run for another one and a half minutes step down to 300 for 37 minutes all right so that was the s1 r2 all right guys so taking a look at the second light here this light is going to be the Olight Pyrin Mini. So compared to our S1 R2, obviously the light doesn't come out the front. This one is a right angle light. Still small, still the same form factor as the S1 R1 or S1 R2. Definitely need to get myself an S1 R1 because that's what I like saying. So same size as you can see. Everything about this is Pretty much the exact same. The only difference is, is where your light's going to be coming out of and the lens. Um, it's probably not going to show it on the camera here. But if you can see, that lens is kind of textured, whereas the S1R2s is not. So it diffuses the light a little differently. Um, so for this, the Pyramid Mini, we're looking at another IPX8. 1.83 ounces is your weight and one point or i'm sorry 2.42 inches is your overall length so the exact same as the s1r2 uh, this is also going to be running a customized 550 milliamp hour 3.7 volt this is an imr 16 340 battery so it looks exactly like the um Oh no, this is the exact same battery, so that's kind of funny. The battery right there is labeled for the S1R Baton 2, but they run it in this light as well. Doesn't surprise me. Same exact light, like I said, just the, the angled head's a little different. Um, magnetic charging, just like the S1R2, just like all the lights we're going to be looking at here today, so... Same thing, comes with the MCC one amp charger, clips to the bottom to charge it up. This one, the only difference between, the only other difference other than the lens is the activation button is gonna be on the top. So you get a nice big button on the top. And this one also has a moonlight mode. 
So moonlight mode for this one's two lumens. It's going to run for four and a half days. Hold the button down just like the other light. 15 lumens for 25 hours is your next level. Then we're going to go up to 65 lumens for six hours. 250 lumens for 98 minutes. And that's going to be your normal steps. And then if you double tap again, you're going to get 1,000 lumens. It's going to run for one minute. Step down to 250 lumens for 85 minutes. Now this one doesn't have a strobe light, but it does come with an SOS beacon. So this one actually runs as an SOS light. Um, both of these lights also have a lockout mode. So if you press and hold the button down, the moonlight will turn on and then turn back off. Now this one will actually give you a flash showing that it won't turn on. The I'll show you what the S2 or S1R2 will do here. So if you press and hold the side switch, light will turn off and back on. And then if you press it, a little red light will come up on the side there. So that's just the difference between the two lights. Um, be, or the light intensity is going to be 2,500 candela. Your beam distance is going to be 100 meters or 328 feet. Um, you can get it in three different colors. Obviously, I have the desert tan. We can get it in black and orange as well. Those are the two other colors available. Now, when you get this light, it actually has you have an option of getting it with or without a headband. So, mine came with the headband. So, this is the... Olight headband that the Pirin Mini comes with. The full size Pirin, I believe, comes with one that has the strap over the top as well, and it comes with a patch. So the patch actually takes the clip of the light, and you can slide it in and make it a headlamp. And just to show you here, so now you have a functioning headlamp. Now, the only problem with this is if you look at the back here this small section in the middle is the strap this is all patch and this is the hook side of the patch so if you're familiar with any velcro that doesn't feel good so what i've actually done and what is nice that patch comes off the headband so you can get rid of the headband and if you have any hat that has a velcro patch on it that accepts and now you have a hat or now you have your your light on your hat um, makes it a little bit more comfortable obviously you're not getting that that velcro rubbing against your forehead so that's the additional piece that comes with the Pirin mini so if you look there it's just a little clip square kind of hole in it and it fits the pocket clip and it locks it in place it's a nice little feature um, like i said this was built as a headlamp that's what it's made for so it's nice to have that optional feature there uh, price wise for these you're looking 64.95 to 69.95 is your typical running cost yet again that's going to be on the olight website or on amazon um, didn't find any special deals. They are cheaper if you do not get the headband with them. Uh, they're, that's where that $64.95 is, is without. I don't know if it comes with the patch or not, but I know without the headband is how it was marked, is the $64.95. And then I think it's, I want to say $67 or $68 with the headband. And then $69.95 is going to be the highest that I've seen uh, as I was searching around. So... We'll get off here, we'll get into the dark and show you the light output and the distance on these lights. And we'll be back with the next one, guys. This is gonna be the Pirin Mini. It's the same thing. We're not gonna be able to see the moonlight very well. You can kind of see it on the house over there. This one, the only difference is this is two lumens. So that's why you can kind of get a reflection. So first step, 15 lumens. Obviously this will be good for walking in the woods. You can kind of see where you're at right ahead of you. And then bumping it up again, this is 65 lumens. 
So now you kind of have your work light. Six hours on this one, 25 on the 15 lumens. Bump up again, 250 lumens. This will run for 98 minutes. So now you can really kind of, this is where you're walking through the woods. You really need to see. And then the double tap. And again, 1,000 lumens, just like the S1R2. And this one will run for a minute. And then toggle down to 250 lumens for 85 minutes. All right, guys, for the next light here, we're going to be looking at the Olight S2 R2 baton. So this is the S1 R2's bigger brother. Uh, let me grab that light real quick just so I can show you a comparison here. Did I stick it in my pocket? I did. All right, so this is the S2 R2. Here's your S1 R2 for comparison. So, not quite half, but pretty close to it. Everything else is the same. Diameter is the same. Light output on this, obviously, is a little better. Battery's bigger. So, let's get into the specs on the S2R2. Uh, we're looking at another IPX8. Obviously, most of their lights are coming in IPX8. Give you that nice waterproof, dustproof feature. They're all sealed. Um, weight is going to be 3.47 ounces. Your overall length is 3.94 inches, and this one's going to be running a little bit bigger battery, uh, as I stated. So this is going to be a 35 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt, customized 18650. So a little bit bigger. This is for your high output lights, high drain lights. And the battery does come apart the same way as the S1R2. And then the head's actually what unscrews from the body. Uh, again, magnetic charging. Now, the nice part about this magnetic charging, one thing I haven't shown you yet, and I should, I might be able to do it over here. So, if you have a magnetic spot um, any metal you're working around refrigerators cars in your workshop whatever if you have a chunk of metal laying around or, or something made of metal uh, in this case this is a dry erase board that's got a metal backing in it these will stick to that so you can kind of place these wherever you want as you're working and light up a specific area instead of having to hold them all the time if if you're like for me i'm working on my car i can stick one of these up on the inner hood of my car or on the side on the fender wells of my car and point light a certain direction so that makes it nice um but anyhow magnetic charging this one also has a moonlight mode this one is 0.5 lumens and the only difference is this one's going to run for 60 days on a charged battery so that 0.5 lumens is kind of like a night light um, your next step up is going to be 15 lumens run for 100 hours then you're going to go to 120 lumens for 14 hours, 400 lumens for four hours, and that's going to be your normal run through. Then if you tap the switch twice, this is going to be 1150 lumens. It's going to run for two minutes, and then it's going to step down to 400 lumens for 230 minutes. Now this one does, like the S1R2, does come with a strobe mode. So... You're getting an extra 150 lumens out of this light compared to the S1R2. Uh, your light intensity is going to be 4600 candela. Beam distance is going to be 135 meters or 443 feet. So it's a little bit shorter than the S1R2. Um, this, these, both of, All three of these lights actually are made to have the light a little closer to you, but they still reach. I mean, come on, 443 feet, still a good distance. Um, color wise so obviously I have the black one here I also stole my wife's so she has the purple with the nice blue clip to match the bezel uh, mine came with the black it also had a blue clip that came with it I didn't put the blue clip on it I like the black one on here better uh, so you can get it in 
purple and black. Green is another one that you can find very easily, uh, as well as desert tan. Desert tan, I found on Amazon. Um, they don't sell it on the website anymore. You can only find black, green, and every now and then the purple on Olight's website. Uh, then they also have titanium, which they it comes in three styles. It comes in the plain gray titanium, blue, and then burnt. Uh, so the burnt has kind of that rainbow effect going up the side as it like heat treated almost. So those are going to be your your different colors. You can you can get the S two R two in. Price wise on this one, $69.95 is your typical cost, um, up to close to $75. Uh, for 70, no, for 80, $83 or $84, I want to say, I'll put the price up on the screen here. Um, you can actually get it on Amazon with two batteries, just like the S1R2. So you get the light, the standard battery that comes with it, a spare, and then the battery case. Um, and those are all from Skybend Trade. He does a lot with the Olights. Uh, you can get Olight Direct, Skybend Trade, and then there's another one that's available on Amazon that sells these at decently good prices, honestly, for the especially with the ones with the extras. So there, one more time, and this does have the selector button just like the S2 or S1 R2. So it has the power indicator on it there. So there's the purple, and there's the black again. All right, guys, we'll get it outside here, show you what the light looks like at night, and we'll come back to a tabletop just to go over a few little things, show you the lights one more time, and we'll sign out. Last one I'm gonna show you here today. This is the S2 R2, and same thing, moonlight's gonna be hard to see. Barely even see it on the house there as I'm moving it around so first step for this one's 15 lumens and you can see that pretty good that'll run for 100 hours next step is 120 lumens so this is 14 hours and then 400 lumens for four hours and then the double tap that's 1150 lumens that'll run for two minutes drop down to 400 lumens for 230 minutes. All right guys, that's all I got for you on the outside portion. All right guys, so just looking over the lights one more time here. Uh, so these are the three lights that we just did the review on. So the S1 R2, the Pyramid Mini, little headlamp, and they're all sticking together now because they're all magnetic. The, and then the two S2R2s that we have, the purple and then the black. Uh, so I showed you the batteries on these, so I'm not going to go back over that. Just wanted to give you another overview here before we sign out. Uh, these are what I consider they're more, Olight's more EDC style, magnetic charging lights. They don't take your standardized batteries. They don't take uh, AAAs or AA's like the i3 or i5t's but they're still small enough for edc so just to give you a comparison here for any of them this is my i5t so still not that bad honestly and then obviously these ones here they disappear they're so small compared to the i5t they just they disappear this one actually, little funny story here. Um, I used to carry this one to work, and because of the double pocket clip, I was sitting in a plastic chair, and this, the outer clip, actually caught the plastic chair. This ended up on the floor. I went went about my day, and when I came back downstairs to check in in our meeting room, this was in our officer's fun candy box for a dollar. Obviously, as you guys know, going over the prices, this is not a dollar light. So, just a funny little story. These things are small. You will forget you even have them on you. The, I mean, the weight's not that bad. Compared to the i5, they're they're relatively close. That one's a tad bit heavier just because it's it's got a bigger battery in it, but that's really it. 
All right, guys. So, if you like the the review we the review we did on these three lights, the S1 R2, the Pyramid Mini, the S2 R2, uh, definitely give me a like on the video, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification button to keep up to date with any new videos. I got a couple coming out here this week. So, hope to see you back here. All right, guys. Later.